theatre patrons. Welcome to the annual Naledi Theatre Awards for production stage during 2019.
Quincy was an agent and I'm sure we'd all agree That he or she would cancel all the gigs I booked for me Or never bring me flowers on my greatest opening night But the spiel, what are you up to is for now out of sight If you think you dramatic of the chicks from R.J. On straight week club, not a Romeo we say This is the theatre and the drama is the food When you're understudy, get your gig and you just get the food But we'll be back, back, back again To going outside for some fun and sweet fresh air Dancing around the neighborhood without a care When we come back, yes we'll be back As you know the world is shut down because of COVID-19 From Chicago, Ica Slami to Angola, Kempeti The band on booze is burning and some shady nicotine <laughs> My Akiman is streaming all the music goes in place. A rock of ages final takes her back to the golden days. And she likes to laugh to them that do whatever best song. So we feel really disturbing because she does it in a mom. Till we can back, back, back again. To hit the buttons and the pants are what we can. To judging on the shows and drinking with our friends. Cause we'll come back. Yes, we'll be back. This is our moment to address the nation, as it is our duty to proclaim this declaration. This one goes out to all those stuck at home who may feel the world is ending while they're all alone. Battling demons nobody knows, anybody to talk to or a place to go. You're ready to but don't hesitate. There's no cash on the table, it's a desperate state. To Earl, to Graham, to Mark, Sven, or a Massimula, to your bonger and friends. Green, Pamela, no to me so too. Don't dance, so it's so great. How about you? Josh and Willa, and this one is for you. And itty bitty bitty, just to say we see you. It's always dark as before the dawn, but with the coming of the light, our shows will come back. back, 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 Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to the 16th Annual Nelere Awards. I am Snake Dada, and I shall be your host, MC, for tonight. And also, I'm now a member of the Nelere Theatre Awards. Don't tell anybody it's too late. I've told you myself. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just a few house rules just before we get to the show on the, on the road, just to make sure we're all safe and everybody's respected. So if you want to have a cigarette during the show, okay, it's you in your own place, so have a cigarette. If you want to go to the toilet, you... Okay, 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 clearly you, you know exactly where you are. So all I can tell you is hashtags, right? So this is what we're going to use tonight. Hashtag Naledi Theatre Awards. You can also at us at Naledi Theatre Awards. I shall repeat that for you. Hashtag Naledi Theatre Awards. Also at us at Naledi Theatre Awards. We want to see you celebrate in your homes. If you're looking crusty, we want to see that too. Even if you're in the bathroom, you're showering, don't show us the nudity, but we want to see you behind the shower curtain going, I won. I'm doing great. Let us celebrate with you. Also, if you feel that my forehead is getting super shiny, please warn me because these lights are hot and I look like I've been playing with Vaseline all day. All right. So before we move right along, we're going to send it over to Dan Stillerman, who's going to give you just a bit of info that you need. Let's go, Dan the man. Oh, there we are. What a pleasure and a privilege to be here this evening with all the hundreds of viewers live watching the first ever virtual Naledi Theatre Awards. My name is Dan Stillerman. I'm the founder of Excel Academy and it's an absolute pleasure and a privilege to be partnering with this amazing world-class Naledi task team on these Naledi Theatre Awards. Now, for the last seven years, we've been helping people to work smarter on Microsoft Excel. We've got a whole theatre production of Excel training workshops and we're going to be giving away our free online training workshops to 
our to all the lucky winners this evening and we're also offering a discount on our excel workshops and my colleague and partner in crime avi will post those details into the zoom chat as well as onto facebook so if you want to upskill yourself in microsoft excel go and click on that link and you'll be able to redeem a coupon code on our website and benefit from that website in addition, we are raising money. I'm sitting next to the wonderful, the glamorous Dawn Lindberg over here. We're keeping our social distance, aren't we, Dawn? <laughs> and what we're doing is we are raising money for the Naledi Bursary Fund. So this evening, you can pledge. You can donate money to the Naledi Bursary Fund this, this evening. And let's make sure that I am on video over here. Nice. I think you could probably, you could probably see, you could hear me, but you couldn't see me. Sorry about that. So. We are raising money for the Naledi Bursary Fund and you have a couple of ways to donate. So we're going to be posting the banking details to pledge to the Naledi Bursary Fund into the chat as well as on Facebook. We're going to pin it to the top on Facebook and on Twitter. And also what we're going to do is we're going to launch a poll. Are we not? Okay, so we're going to launch a poll and what you can do if you're watching live on Zoom, we're going to keep that poll up for about half a minute and you can pledge an amount and we will get in touch with you in the next few days so that you can honor that pledge and make that donation to the wonderful Naledi Bursary Fund. Okay, so let's launch that poll. Okay, and you should be able to see on your Zoom screen right now, if you are watching on Zoom, again, apologies if you're watching on Facebook, but if you are watching on Zoom, you can pledge an amount to the Naledi Bursary Fund. We'd be hugely, hugely grateful for whatever amount uh, you are willing to donate to support these artists. So I see that the amounts are coming in. We've got 10 seconds left on the poll, and then we need to pull it down, and we will launch that maybe again a little bit later, but the show must go on. So the poll is ending in three Two, one, thank you for your generous, generous donations. And we have ended the polling. So, Snare, back over to you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank each and every single one of you that were actually willing to do the poll right now and donate. Please note that whatever you have is enough and it will go a long way. There's an opportunity for you to give someone else a chance to have a life that you have also gained in future. Right. So now to take us right along towards the awards, just a step closer, not to actually announcing the first award, but just to do the welcomes. We have our beautiful chairperson, a beautiful executive director slash legal and our CEO. Please welcome on stage Selo Makeka Ngobe, Lian Pitorius, and none other than Dawn Lindbergh. Thank you to everyone. Well, coming up on microphone. Thank you so much. <laughs> In April 2020, the world as we knew it changed irrevocably for every human. This was due to the onslaught of a hitherto unknown, mysterious and virulent virus that attacks our respiratory passages, causing illness and sometimes even death. The world panics and goes into universal lockdown, including all places of entertainment and theatres. Our industry is bewildered and wonders how we will continue to tell our stories, dance, sing and stretch our creative muscles. Online streaming, Zoom and webinars become the buzzwords and those of us hitherto technologically challenged hastily learn a new language and new ways to share our art. Naledi too joins the gang and after much debate and discussion are proud and happy to present our very first live online streaming of the 16th annual Naledi Awards. Entertainment slots are pre-recorded and nominees are bemused when we ask them all to send in acceptance speeches as if they are winners so that we can flight the correct one tonight. Snay and a few of us are live in the studio to link and have fun as we invite all of you who have registered to join us in our virtual theater at home for what we know will be a terrific show tonight. And now I invite our executive director, Lehan Pretorius, to welcome you. Lehan. Thank you, Dawn. It is very unbelievable om that for all gedurende hierdie tijd a form of theater to can believe. Ook om die wonderlijke producties, kunstenaars, technische gurus en theatermakers van 2019 te erken en te vier. Vanavond zou so echter niet moeilijk geweest zijn zonder de ondersteuning van talle individuen en instanties. Nie. We want to thank each and every person on our Lady Board, task team en judging panels for their valuable contribution. 
In addition, a huge thank you and shout out must go to Adcock Ingram OTC, sponsors of Brave, Exhale Academy, Nalitemba Productions, Split Beam, and various theatres and institutions for their valuable contributions. Also, a word of thanks to the media in general and our media partners, specifically Mail and Guardian and Netwerk 24. A further word van dank aan al die betrokken kunstenaars, instanties en vervaardigers van die verschillende producties voor die wereldklas vermaak wat ons door die loop van vanavond sal ervaar. To wrap up this welcome, over to my dear friend, colleague and deputy chairperson of the Naledi Theatre Awards, our Mufasa, Mr. Selo Make Kangube. Uh, thank you, Lian. Um, you know, earlier today, <laughs> <laughs> Snare addressed me as Baba. And <laughs> that just goes to show you that you've reached the twilight of your years. <laughs> but anyway, more to press thing. Welcome to the Naledi Theatre Awards. Uh, you know, for 16 years, uh, culture will be each individual's understanding of his community and his commitment to it. The artist's job is to make the process public to create public images, literal or figurative, in signs, sound, and movement of the human condition. Public images in which our species recognizes itself con and confirms its identity. This was said by Edward Bond, a British playwright. For 16 years, the Naledi Awards have been the beacon of celebrating and recognizing the excellence of these artists in the theater, giving credence to efforts conceived in desperate moments of seeking expression. Tonight is one of those nights when we will be encouraging more of those inspired moments to continue sprout in the, in the souls and spirits of creatives, performers, and spare on those who are recognized tonight and to never cease fueling their creative souls and spirits to light up our theater darkened by the pandemic. May the Naledi Theater Awards get the long deserved recognition and support to spread its footprint throughout the country so that the many individuals who want to give a voice to their understanding of their communities and their commitment to it receive this necessary boost to rekindle the dying flames of their theater expression. The death of theater will be the burial of, the, of mastering the acting craftsmanship. No place accords, the, uh, accords it the platform to do so and elevate it to the, uh, to the state of science like the theater and its preliminary process of the rehearsal room. Because in it, the five orderly sequential steps of every scientist are followed, which are observation, experimentation, classification, deduction, and the gaining of pure knowledge. And that is the ultimate that is ultimately shared on the stage. Throughout the numerous process, uh, works that have been seen throughout this year, long live the theatre uh, awards, long live the Naledi Theatre Awards, so that so you there at home please sit back relax and enjoy thank you someone <laughs> called baba uh, it's important that i said because culturally wise I, I can't be that guy who comes along and the someone who's older than me i'm like thank you very much my brother yet he's 40 years older than me i'm also assuming that he is 40 years older than me maybe i should stop now because he's giving me that kind of look that does not make me feel safe so now to move us right along to announce our first two awards to get the show on the road. I had a quick chat with her outside. She's absolutely amazing, so phenomenal. But I also thought to myself, I can't speak to her for too long because I watch Survivor. And then she spoke to people and then people were kicked off. So I don't want to talk too long in case I get kicked off and I don't ever get to present the Naledi Wars again. But to get us on the road and to do the thing, please welcome the one and only Nicole Kappa. Good evening, Sne. Good evening, everybody watching at home. What an honor it is to be here. And uh, yes, this is my stage now. Your torch has been extinguished. It is uh, an incredible landmark night tonight, and I'm here on behalf of myself and Derek Watts. Derek couldn't be here because, as you know, it is a Sunday night, so he is busy with carte blanche. But both Derek and myself are very proud Adcock Ingram OTC, sponsors of Brave Ambassadors. 
And this year, we've had the privilege of shining a spotlight on heroes on the front line of the COVID-19 pandemic, heroes in journalism, and I think tonight we're shining a spotlight on heroes in the performing arts. So I have a real, really great adventure ahead with Adcock Ingram OTC and the sponsors of Brave Songs for Hope bus in Hope Tober. Uh, October, we will be celebrating hope with an incredible bus filled with people in talented performing arts um, that will get to take this message of hope to South Africa on a roadshow of hope. So very excited about that. But tonight I get to present the very first award, the Naledi Award for Best Supporting Actress in a Play. Drum roll, please. The... Uh, Nominees are Supporting actress in a play are Amira Patel as Gret Samsa in Metamorphosis Kucho Green as Mrs. Samsa in Metamorphosis Nundumi Mabuza as Temba in Kova Nontlantla Dube as Lady in White in Tova. Zimkita Nyoka as Tozama in Tova. And the lady goes to... Zimkita Nyoka as Tomaza in Gova. And our next award will be going to the best supporting male in a play. The nominees are... And the nominees for best featured or supporting actor in a play are... Craig Morris as Mr. Samsa in Metamorphosis. Matthew Lotter as Christopher Wren in The Mousetrap. Silo Sibutsane as Uampi Tsilapedi in Call Us Crazy. Yamikani Mahaka Piri as Mr. M in My Children, My Africa. Zolani Shangase as Tami in My Children, My Africa. And the Naledi goes to Yamikani Makara Mahaka Piri as Mr. M, My Children, My Africa. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Um, gosh, who do I thank? I need to thank my mother, obviously, as I always do, and the team. Matthew Cunahan, thank you so much. You're a wonderful director. And obviously, I have two stunning performers next to me, Zolani Shangase and Mika Lombard. Guys, I wish we could do it again. Um, but yeah, wow. Again. <laughs> thank you. And the nominees for... I can't... Iconic brands in tune with iconic voices. Iconic brands supporting the arts in South Africa. The show must always go on. In proud association with Adcock Ingram, OTC, sponsors of Brave.
A huge congratulations on first two winners. It's already buzzing, I'm sure. But those two winners, please send us a video, a picture of something, of how you're feeling right now with the people that you're around. We want to celebrate with you. Show us how you're feeling. Now to move right along to award number three and number four, we are introducing a creator and director of arts and culture festivals for schools and private studios. She's also a speech and drama teacher and a panelist for children and young audiences. This is none other. I'm going to try to do her voice. This is Thea Gaffin. Thanks, Snare. The best production for children 0 to 13 years, and the nominees are... The nominees for best production for children or young audiences are... Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, produced by the National Children's Theatre. Dr. Seuss's Cat in the Hat, produced by National Children's Theatre. Susical Junior, produced by the People's Theatre. Tiny the Dokoloshi, produced by VR Theatrical at Peter Turin Studio Theatre. The Three Little Pigs, produced by Pretoria Youth Theatre. Wow. And the Naledi goes to Tiny the Tokolosh and Other African Tales. Thank you so much to the Naledis for this recognition and congratulations to all of the nominees in children's theatre category. We are amongst some amazing theatre makers who are really prioritising children's theatre and children as an audience. I'd like to thank the cast and the crew who were instrumental in creating this production. It was very important for all of us to bring our own homegrown stories to the children's theatre space. And we'd like to thank VR Theatrical for the incredible opportunity and platform. Here's to many, many more. Thank you so much. And, the and now on to award number four, the best performance in a play for children or young audiences. And the nominees are... And the nominees for best performance in a production for young audiences are... Jacques de Silva as the Cat in the Hat in The Cat in the Hat. Jay Satuayo as Duck in Duck for President. Roberto Pombo as Willy Wonka and narrator in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. TK Baloyi as Genie in Aladdin. Tokozani Gianni as Marty the Zebra in Madagascar, a musical adventure junior. Such awesome nominees. And the winner is Roberto Pombo as Willy Wonka and narrator. Thank you very much for the award um, and to everyone at the Naledi Award Committee and everyone involved, thank you so much. Uh, and to everyone at the National Children's Theatre, thank you. And to the amazing cast and crew of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, also thanks for making it such an incredible and fun experience. And of course, um, thank you to our audiences, we love you. And most importantly, thank you to Janine Collicott for creating such an incredibly magical experience. Thank you.
all the things you say, children will listen. Careful the things you do, children will see. My heart is aching. How I wish to step back onto the stage, but we will very, very soon. That was Kate Norman Ting singing Children Will Listen from the musical Into the Woods, and we don't mean the peppermint cure. For me, when I first read that, 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 that name, the Children Will Listen, as a black child, it's very different to growing up because Umama used to give me a hiding going, Children Will Listen! And I'm happy that this song was a lot happier than what I experienced in the past. Mama, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Right, so now moving right along to announce award number five and number six. We're introducing a drama in education expect, a doctor specializing in as an acting coach and also a convener of incubator panel. Now the only doctor that I know is Dr. Kumano, but you're about to meet another doctor. Please welcome Dr. Tiffany Higo. And the nominees for Best Tertiary or Incubator Production are And the nominees for Best Production, Tertiary or Incubator Theatre are Eclipsed, produced by the Market Theatre Frontier, produced by the Market Theatre and the Department of Arts and Culture Incubation Little Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Metaphors produced by UP School of Arts Drama Department Nailed, produced by the Market Theatre 
Rhinoceros, produced by Kwasha Theatre Company, supported by the Market Theatre Lab. And then a lady goes to... Dramatic pause. Eclipsed. Indeed, my name is Melusi, and I was told by my mother that my surname is Melusi, and I believe her. I'd like to thank the Naledi Theatre Awards for honoring us in such a huge way at this point of our careers. We thank Janesh Merkler for helping us find um, or in finding our natural voices. We thank Sylvain Strike for cultivating in us things that we did not even know we had within ourselves. To Pomlani Mdebele for carrying us throughout the process and building us up even when we did not believe in ourselves. See you all. And our next award is for Best Breakthrough Performance. And the nominees are... And the nominees for Best Breakthrough Performance are... Abongile Machuchu as John Mutukolo in Angola Camp 13. Anele Nene as Melusi in Pockets of Knowledge. Anne Masina as Venus in Venus vs. Modernity. Menzim Kwene as Sihe in Pockets of Knowledge. Jessica Walhata as Young Tracy in Brutal Legacy. And then a lady goes to... Messina, Venus vs. Modernity. Thank you very much, Naledi, for this prestigious award. I'm truly humbled. It has been a journey. And it all started at the center of the Lascaux idea when I met my sister, Lebu Mashile. And to Pamela Nomvete, and Kolega Putuma, thank you for being the best directors. And to everyone that has been involved in creating this production, Gyabonga. A huge congratulations once again to the winners, the recipients of that award. Please, just a quick reminder, send us something. Tweet us, send us a picture so we can see how you're celebrating. Also, let's nip this in a bud. I know you guys are going to speak about this. Envelopes are difficult to open, okay? Give people a chance. They've got to, hey, 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 because we saw with Tiffany, it was a, it was a, whew, it was a tough one. Give her a chance. In fact, tweet us and tell us how you open an envelope. Do you open it like this, like this, or you do this, and, and then you whip it out. Let us know, right? As if it's a, that, let's not say what it is. Now, moving on to announce our two awards. Award number seven and number eight is the one and only sexy and delectable individual, also known as a professional rugby referee for the World Service. And I can see some of you are going to go, mmm, delicious. No, he's committed to someone. He's only blowing that person's whistle. Please welcome Leanne Pretorius. Thank you, Shne. Um, how does one recover from that introduction? One doesn't. One just gets on with the job. I'm here to present the award for the Naledi for Best Choreography in a Play or Musical. And the nominees are... The nominees for Best Choreography in a Play or a Musical are... Craig Morris for Metamorphosis. Grant Van Stad for Auntie Merle the Musical. Duduzi Vincent Ntlapo for Angola Camp 13. Mpo Maifadi for Tova. 
Continental Antam Gay and Aluja Zam Mainela for currently gold. And then a lady goes to. Humdudusi Vincent and Klapo, Angola Camp 13. Greetings. It is with great delight to receive this award. Thank you to the Naledis. Ours has begun a long time ago. We have started winning when we started advocating relevant stories to our masses. This award is dedicated to our audience who have been resilient with us and to the South African State Theatre who saw it fit to rally behind the banner of young people and supporting us. Thank you, Dr. Sbongsen Mkise, Mr. Obrese Kavi and the EYCT Department. And this award I dedicate to the workmanship of Angola Thank you, Keida Seloma Seko. Let's keep winning. And I dedicate this award to my family, my son, the mother of my son, my partner, and my mother. Thank you. Congratulations to Mdu. The next Naledi is the Naledi for Best Original Score, Adaptation, or Musical Arrangement. And the nominees are and the nominees for Best Original Score, Arrangement or Adaptation are Clint Lesh for Aida Abridge Cromwell Modise Modungwa for Angola Camp 13 Nebo Mafabatu for Clova Taryn Lamb and Mark Lottering for Auntie Merle the Musical Kulufelo Siwela and Major Mockery for Venus vs. Modernity. And the Naledi goes to Cromwell Medise Modungwa, Angola Camp 13. Hi everyone, I am so overjoyed for this award. Let me firstly thank God Almighty for granting me the strength and the wisdom. I would like to thank the Naledi Award judges for nominating me and awarding me this award to Mandi Makulu, the, the South African State Theatre, Siloma Seko, my director. Thank you so much for the support to the cast and crew of Angola Camp 13. This award is truly for all of us. Thank you so much. And the last award that I'm presenting in this section is the Naledi for Best Musical Director. And the nominees are... And the nominees for Best Musical Director are... Brian Schimmel for Chicago. Cromwell Modise Motungwa for Angola Camp 13. Drew Backer for Into the Woods. Vessel Wardendal for Forever Plaid. Vessel Wardendal for Rock of Ages. And the Naledi for Best Musical Director goes to Drew Bucker into the woods. Thank you so much, Naledis, for this incredible honor. What a privilege it is to be among these nominees. Thank you to Stephen for directing such a beautiful show, to Tina and Greg and Mark for designing an incredible show, PTP for your, your support, Jason for being my right hand from the beginning of Into the Woods, um, and to the incredible company who works so freaking hard. And thank you so much for all your love and work that you put into this show. Love to Ro, love to my family back home. My gran always said I'd win a Tony. This one is for her. Thanks so much.
And a huge congratulations to each and every single one of you that have won tonight. Another reminder, please send us a video or something so we can see how you are celebrating during this time. We also have a couple of special awards happening tonight. And this is a first of the couple of special awards that we're about to do tonight. And let's take a look to see who this award goes to. The award we're about to give away is the Lissedi Spirit of Courage Award. Let's go. Musa Mota had his left leg amputated 12 years ago after being diagnosed with osteosarcoma, a virulent cancer of the bones. He was bedridden for two years and in despair as to whether he'd ever walk again, let alone dance. I was given a bursary by the Reach for Dream Foundation, he says, and this motivated me to learn to dance again, using my crutch for gravity and balance in creating unique moves and routines. I hope that as a professional dancer with the Buyani Dance Theatre, I can now inspire people living with disabilities to live their dreams and also to help break down social prejudices surrounding us. We are indeed able. It is our honour to present Musa Mota with the Naledi Spirit of Courage Award for 2020. Greetings everyone, my name is Musa Wakwamwata, all the way from Val in Smokeens on 14. I'm a proud company member of Voyani Dance Theatre and it's such an honor and privilege to be recognized by Naledi Awards. I want to thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for the recognition of hard work and I want to thank my friends for the support and I want to thank my parents for being there for me since from day one and I want to thank my mom, she's my superhero. Thank you guys for everything, love and peace, nothing is impossible.
Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm very shook by that. It was incredible. That was Shannon Glover and Ruan Caldino and the Joburg Ballet Theatre Company. Now, they were doing the pas de deux from Don Quixote. Now, for those of you who don't know, pas de deux is actually pronounced pas de dax, ne? It's pronounced pas de dax because you saw those things that he was doing in a round circle with that da da va And it's basically like what he, my arms are like, but his legs were doing the da da va It's called a pas de dax because usually the first time you do it, you tear a muscle. So you land up on the floor, you're like, ah, pasta ducks, and the ducks are the duct tape to kind of help your muscles back on. So that's why it's pronounced pasta ducks. I wish I could dance like that. Now, moving right along, beautiful people, we're moving on to an incredible individual. Now, this individual is a choreographer of the brilliant piece which opened the Nelly ceremony this evening, titled Bing Du, right? Which is Chinese for virus. So it means you can go to China and go COVID Bing Du, and they'll understand exactly what you're saying. Now, it is part of the pandemic project by UJ arts and culture. Now Ignatius has his own ballet studio and is the Naledi convener for contemporary dance, ballet and physical theatre. Mm. Aye man, he must be rich in the bank account. <laughs> we'll find out after this. So please welcome on stage Ignatius, Ignat hey, hey, English sometimes and Afrikaans also just, let me try again. Please welcome on stage Ignatius von Jürgen. Thank you very much, Sine. Um 2019 was a beautiful year for dance productions. Here are the nominees of the top productions. The nominees for Best Contemporary Dance or Ballet Production are Sion, produced by the Joburg Theatre and Vuyani Dance Theatre. Exit Exist, produced by Vuyani Dance Theatre and the Market Theatre. Giselle, Produced by the Joburg Ballet. I Am Simon. Produced by Tami Shabalala in association with the State Theatre. Unbound. Produced by Joburg Ballet. A lady goes to... Sion, Requiem of Ravel's Bolero. Thank you to the Naledis for recognizing Sion. It is one of the works that is very close to our hearts because it carries the message of death. We've all become professional mourners in this time of COVID-19. Thank you, Zeg Zindar, for allowing us to dive into the character of Dologi. Oliver Hauser, Mani Manam, thank you for your collaborative efforts. Thanks to the dancers and the musicians for adding value into this work and to the entire team at Voyani Dance Theatre. Thank you, Jobek Theatre. Thank you, Market Theatre, for your support. And now to present our next award, this person is a publicist for Naledi, a radio presenter and event producer. Also, I heard that, you know, Cirque du Soleil actually comes from his name. It was inspired by his name because the word Chris backwards is Cirque. So please welcome Chris Avant Smith. Sure. What can I say if I'm <laughs> Cirque du Soleil? That's really great. It gives me great pleasure to announce the nominees for Best Solo Performance. The nominees for Best Performance in a Solo Production, Male or Female, are Ben Pinar as Carl in Net in Dearness. Billy Langa as Narrator in Tswalo. Ignatius van Heerden as performance artist in Drum in Dearness. Peter Dirk Ais as himself and various alter egos in Hashtag He Too. Reynos Nikos Spanudes as Dimitri Tsafendas in Strange Land. Zane Mies as Chris Van Veek in Van Veek, the storyteller of Rivoli. And... The award goes to, if I can get this open, Billy Langer as narrator in Swallow. Naledi, 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 thank you so much for this beautiful, prestigious award. Um, 
we appreciate it so much. Thank you, the Market Theatre, for putting up the work. Um, we did it, and we continue to find out and inquire. Um, thank you to Theatre Jiwa and Company. Thank you to everyone who has supported the work and travels with it. Thank you so much. It also gives me very great pleasure to announce the nominees for the Best Ensemble Production of 2019. And the nominees for Best Ensemble Production are Angola Camp 13, produced by the State Theatre in association with Mandi Makulu. Currently Gold, produced by Guasha Theatre Company. Into the Woods, produced by Peter Turin and Kickstart. Shakespeare's R&J, produced by Abrahamsa and Mayer Productions. Waza Albert, produced by the State Theatre in association with the Playhouse Company. Oh wow, and I did open the envelope, but I didn't look, so let's see who has got the Naledi for this. And Best Ensemble goes to Angola Camp 13, a wonderful production. Hi, Kilise Hogoli, on behalf of Angola Camp 13, we would like to thank the Naledi Awards for recognizing us as the best ensemble. Thank you also to the South African State Theatre for believing in us. A big thank you to our director, Mr. Silo Masebo, for believing in us and working with us so well. Congratulations to the whole team. We did it. Thank you. Now, to keep it moving, I won't keep you anticipating and waiting. We're going to keep it moving and moving it, and moving it swiftly. English caught me out there a bit, but I caught it back. To present the Independent French Award, please welcome back Leanne Pretorius. Thank you, Sne. Towards the end of 2018 and the start of and the beginning of 2019, we as the Naledi Theatre Awards decided to introduce a couple of new categories or additional categories in order to be more inclusive. One of those new categories is the Best Independent Theatre or th Fringe Production. And the nominees are... And the nominees for Best Production, Independent or Fringe Theatre are... Born Naked, produced by Pop Art Theatre. Cotton Wool Kid, produced by Pop Art Theatre. Dick or Date, produced by Momo Matsunyane Productions. No Easter Sunday for Queers, produced by the National Arts Festival and the Market Theatre. And Learn, produced by Momo Matsunyane Productions. Oh well. And the Naledi goes to No Easter Sunday for Queers. Indeed, my name is Melusi and I was told by my mother that my surname is Mulefe and I believe her. 
would like to thank the Nalidi Theatre Awards again for honoring us in such a huge way with this award. We are grateful to Kolega Potuma's parents for not taking the abortion route that would have been disastrous. We thank Munya Kwabi for making us see the world in a different light and Ndantla Matlangu for believing in us even when everyone told us that uh, we were vocally wounded. Huge congratulations one more, oh, once more, and to move right along to make sure that we're keeping this on the journey and making it swift. The next presenter is an actor, director, playwright, and also renowned as a sexiest voice in showbiz. <laughs> that hurts me because I thought mine was number one, but it's fine. I'll take number two. I think I need to drop my voice down like this. So please welcome, not to Baba, but my leader. Sello, Marke Gangube. Thank you very much, Sne. Don't worry, you'll grow into it. <laughs> um, uh, best costume design, I want to be in Lupo. In this Nandi Jewish, the quarter is in Dogo. And I'm a props to the master series. And the nominees are. And the nominees for Best Costume or Props Design are Kokezo Kekana for Kova Marcel Meyer for Shakespeare's RNJ Marcel Meyer for Equus Neil Stewart Harris for Into the Woods UJ Arts and Culture, a division of FADA 2018 second year students, mentored by Joe Glanville for Metamorphosis. And the lady goes to Koketso Kekana Tova. Hi everyone, I'm really grateful and honored and oh, this is a true blessing. I'd like to thank the Ozone Fellas, I'd like to thank State Theatre, I'd like to thank the cast and crew for Kova. It was a great journey and I am so happy to have won this award. Thank you very much, be blessed. And uh, the best set design and the nominees are... And the nominees for Best Theatre Set Design are... Fred Abramsa for Shakespeare's r &J. Greg King for Into the Woods. Ntabiseng Malaga for Strange Land. Sheldon Marema for Kova. UJ Arts and Culture, a division of FADA 2018 second year students, mentored by Sarah Roberts for Metamorphosis. And the lady goes to UJ Design Academy, mentored by Professor Sarah Roberts, Metamorphosis. We'd love to accept this award on behalf of the University of Johannesburg and the Faculty of Art, Design and Architecture. The set was actually designed by the second year students of 2018. Thank you to the judging panel who participated in the project, to Desiree Small, all the students who participated in the program, and of course our Dean at the time, Prof Frischke. Thank you so much for your contribution. And then a very special shout out to Sarah Roberts and Nadine Minar for your incredible mentorship and guidance through this project. Thank you. Yay. And obviously none of this could be realized without a jubilant Jack and the cast who managed to make the set work beautifully. I mean, that set was 300 kilograms and they made it look effortless. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. 
Huge congratulations to those winners there. Moving right along, our next presenter is a celebrated teacher of drama in Johannesburg. He's the head of drama at King David Victory Park. He of the sad eyes, warm heart, uber mensch, a Greek actor, director, playwright, bringing gifts of excellence to his students at a Jewish school and chairman of the Naledi judging panel. Now, this is also a person with a beautiful name that sounds like, you know, Say this is the final scene in the movie Zorro, and Zorro finally reveals who his true identity is. And they ask him, who are you? And he says, I am Renos Spanudas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Snake. Good evening, one and all. And now the Naledi Award for Best Lighting Design. And the nominees are... And the nominees for Best Lighting Design or Animations are Fred Abramsa, Equus Mongeni Clement Mabila for Angola Camp 13 Oliver Hauser for Metamorphosis Tina LaRue for Into the Woods Wandilem Gordo for Clover. And the Naledi goes to Oliver Hauser, Metamorphosis. Hey guys, this is my little boy, newly born, uh, well not newly born, um, <laughs> five months old, almost as lock long as lockdown. Um, wow, what an incredible honor to have won this award. Jeez, um, I think I've been waiting my entire career to win something like this. Um, but thank you to the ladies um, and thank you to my beautiful wife for just allowing me the time and just understanding um, the time it takes um, and the hours it takes to put on a production like this. Um, thank you for supporting me my, my entire career. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> thank you to UJ Art Center, of course, for, for always trusting me with your productions. Um, and thank you to Peter Jacobs and, and Albie Michaels for always um, allowing me the creative freedom to create um, a beautiful production like Metamorphosis. Um, thank you to the wonderful cast. What an incredible cast and what an amazing production. Um, this was really just, um, I think, I think actually my job would have been a lot more difficult if it wasn't for this incredible cast. Um, and yes, thank you. Thank you to everybody who was involved. Um, and what an amazing production. Um, and I'd also like to thank Split Beam for allowing me to the freedom to light this show um, and thank you for supporting me through the last year congratulations Oliver and now the Naledi award for best sound design and the nominees and are the nominees for best sound design or soundscape are blessing Gianne for Angola camp 13 Kulufelo Siwela for The Lion and the Lamb. Mark Malherba for Into the Woods. Nebo Mafabatu for Clover. Yogan Sulapen for Strange Land. And the Naledi goes to Blessing Gianni, Angola Camp 13. Your Charlie, it is Blessing over Gianni. Uh, it is a great pleasure to receive this award for Best Soundscape for Angola Camp 13. I'd like to thank God, I'd like to thank my family, I'd like most of all the production 
team of Angola for putting together a great body of work and it is an honor to be receiving this award today. Thank you, thank you very much. There's a fine, fine line between a lover and a friend. There's a fine, fine line between reality and pretend. And you never know till you reach that time if it is worth the uphill climb. There's a fine, fine line between. Absolutely beautiful. That was Sharon Spiegel Wagner, Laurie Strauss, Masunate Sakupwana, and Lance Marin with Drew Bakker at the piano singing. There's a fine, fine line from loving you. And it is true, there is a very, very fine line from burgundy and red lipstick that only ladies can tell because I don't know how you guys can tell. It's, just, it's red, ladies. It's red. Burgundy doesn't exist. There's a fine line to you. Moving right along to present the next two awards, ladies and gentlemen, is the other half to her half. Ne? She is, well, he is the glove to her hand and he is the sock to her foot. This is none other than Des Lindbergh. Stan Knight was born and educated in Cape Town. He was a skilled computer programmer before theatre drew him into the performing arts. He has worked in over 120 major theatre productions, either as lighting designer, scenery constructor or stage manager. He began his career with Brickhill Burke. His first task was not quite what he expected. When he arrived at the theatre, he was told, there's a pile of timber, start building. He worked on Maropa for Brickhill Burke of His Majesty's and later went to the UK with that show at the New London Theatre. He formed a company called Night Scene, which built scenery for Brickhill Burke Peter Turin, the Academy Theatre, and Desendorn Lindbergh. His Majesty's closed in 1980, and Stan went on to Pact as a lighting designer, then drama production manager, and later opera production manager, and head of workshops. In 2006, he travelled to Russia to light Andrew Buerta's Magic Flute. Stan has won seven Vita Awards and several Naledi trophies. He was appointed as a lecturer at Witts University. 
Hard to do justice to Stan Knight's broad-based career in a short citation. It's a pleasure and a privilege tonight to award to Stan this Technical Support Award for his skill and his passion for theatre. We love you, Stan. Over the past 60 years, I've worked with many people and companies. Jerry Nichols, Shirley Firth and Peter Tureen, Ryan Brook, Joan Brickell and Louis Burke, Rod Dixon, Andrew Water, The Market Theatre, Janice Honeyman, Bernard Jay and Anthony Farmer, The Academy Theatre, Des and Dawn Lindbergh, Pact and the State Theatre, all the Performing Arts Councils, Vice de Bell, Richard Loring, Fidus Klotz and Small Denala, Joburg Ballet, Mzanzi Ballet, Big Concerts, Production Projects, Theatre on the Track, Theatre on the Square, Dion Opperman, Opera Africa, National Children's Theatre and Louis Muller's Barnyard Theatres. I have looked opera in Russia, tits and feathers in Korea, staged managed in London and designed and built hundreds of sets. I have swept the stage, worked the flies, sewn the backdrops and called the corner. And I've loved every minute of it. Thank you, South Africa. And I hope our theatres are open again soon. And the nominees for Best Director of a Musical are... Stan Knight was born and educated in Cape Town. Now, this is a surprise section of the awards because, as you know, technology, these things happen. Apologies. I think I pushed a button there when I was joking around and joking around. <laughs> hey, English is... When I was joking around there, I think I pushed a button. It's my fault. It's okay. I will fix it. I was trying to charge my phone because I should have done it before, but we're back on track. Right. To move right along, ladies and gentlemen, our presenter is the head of the dramatic arts at St. Benedict's College, also the founder and co-owner of Theatre ZA and Naledi Judge. He is a beautiful human being, beautiful man. You just love him the moment you meet him. Also, I wish he can star like in the sequel of Life of Pi, but this time you can call the life of high. Anyway, please welcome Kaylin Pillay. Thank you, Snare. Uh, as always, a massive privilege to be presenting at the Nail Ladies. And to get it underway, the nominees for Best Director of a Musical are. Nominees for Best Director of a Musical are. Yako van Rensburg for Forever Plaid. Niels Klaassen for Aspusterki. Silo Amos Masego for Angola Camp 13. Stephen Stead for Into the Woods. Timothy LaRue and Elisma Bardenhorst for Rock of Ages. Congratulations to those nom nominees. And the Naledi goes to Selo Masejo for Angola Camp 13. Revolutionary greetings to all of you who are watching this video. First and foremost, I would like to thank South African State Theatre for believing in young directors like myself. Uh, thank you very much, Naledi Award, for recognizing my talent as a young black director. And I would like to thank everybody who contributed in this massive production of Angola. Today I'm a best director. I'm recognized by the Naledi Awards because of all of you. This award belongs to all of you. Thank you very much, Kamako. A massive congratulations, Selo. Without further ado, the nominees for Best Director of a Play are... 
and the nominees for Best Director of a Play are Alby Michaels for Metamorphosis Fred Abramsa for Equus James Ngobo for The Fisherman Joseph Komani for Kova Pamela Nomvete and Kolega Putuma for Venus vs. Modernity Matthew Cunahan for My Children, My Africa And the Naledi for Best Director of a Play goes to Joseph Komani for Klova. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for this award. Um, it's a dream come true, especially as a young director. Um, I would love to thank the South African State Theatre, the Ozone Fellas, uh, the cast and crew. Um, I would also love to acknowledge the uh, Naledi Awards for you know, recognizing the talent. Um, this means a lot. I mean, it, it, it's a dream come true, I've got to say. And um, I think lastly I would say, um, I'm just moving class today and tomorrow I'll try, I'll try mountains. Huge congratulations to all those recipients that have won here tonight. Now to present the Innovation in Theatre Award once again. I heard that if you call his name three times, he appears. Leon, Leon, Leon. It doesn't work. Please welcome Leon Pretorius. <laughs> Thank you, Sne. It seemed like the mirror worked this time around. It is an absolute honor for me to present this year's Innovation in Theatre Award. Dearness is and started off as a one-on-one -on -one site specific theatrical production with a very intimate yet cutting edge and experimental approach. It involves a single audience member who views three separate and dramatic pieces per performance session with each of the pieces having one actor performing for that specific audience member at a time. Elke toneel is ongeveer 20 minuten lang en is geskryf vir 'n spesifieke vertrek in 'n huis waar die gehoor lid na afloop van die een stuk na die volgende vertrek beweeg. Hier die ervaring is toe later uitgebreid na Deernis 20 voor 2, theater tussen 20 gehoorlede en 2 acteurs. Plek specifieke theater waar die gehoor strategisch in vertrek geplaas word. With the title of the production literally translating to door, which one usually enters through, and earnest and compassionate honesty, it sets the scene and tone for an extraordinary experience. A work delivered with honesty and sincerity, while also being both emotionally and socially challenging. This year, the Innovation in Theatre Award deservedly goes to Dearness, produced by Rudy Sadler and Johan van der Merwe. It is wonderful to be able to create the most innovative theatre for Dearness. Dearness was Theatre Rockets' first professional production, and it began as a scary experiment with four stukken in a woonhuis in Pretoria. And this has it grown with more than 50 stukken, and um, this is right over the land opgevoer in a few of our lands. And I can only say thank you for every actor, regisseur and scriber that has given us the best and made that Dearness a success. A very, very thank you. Thank you so much for this wonderful honor. Presenting a play between one actor and only one audience member at a time has many challenges, but it also offers huge rewards. Over the past four years, we really explored the boundaries of theater and in the process developed and gave opportunity to many new playwrights, directors and actors to try their hand at immersive theater. To each one of them, to every helper, every usher, every festival, venue and sponsor, we say a huge, huge thank you. And a huge congratulations once again to our recipients there. And as we know, that's the year 2019 and the year 2020 has been one of many, many challenges. And during these times, we have lost those that are close to us and those that we dearly love. And we'd like to ask you to please join us right now in honoring and remembering these beautiful individuals as they take their final bow. I heard there was 
the secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord but you don't really care for music do ya well it goes like this the fourth the fifth the minor fall and the major lift the baffled king composing
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, uh, that was the Rodian Choir singing Hallelujah, conducted by Ralph Schmidt. And that was Johnny Clegg at the end singing Asimbo Nanga. Uh, to those of you feeling a bit of heartache right now, just take comfort in knowing that lives might have ended, but we get to carry on those dreams for them. Uh, moving right along to our next two awards, please welcome back on stage Chris Avant Smith. Always really, really difficult uh, to follow that. And, uh, but let's go on. We live and theatre is live. And it's my great honour to uh, introduce the nominees for the best supporting or featured performance in a musical, Female. Nominees for Best Featured or Supporting Actress in a Musical are Lois Duplessis as Justice in Rock of Ages Marlie van der Merwe as Ursula Kukumur in Aspusterki Noni Mkondo as Henrietta Hen in Jack and the Beanstalk Siasanga Papu as Michael and Mama in Santa Claus is Coming to Town Tankiso Mamambolo as Lydia in Auntie Merle the Musical. And the Naledi goes to... Oh well, Mali van der Merwe as Ursula in Kukumur in Aspustaki. First of all, thank you to the Naledi team for this wonderful token of acknowledgement. We all know, though, it takes a whole team uh, to get a production on stage, let alone getting noticed or nominated for anything. Which brings me to Adlife Productions, Pretoria State Theatre, and also the creative team of both Carnations of Aspusuki. Uh, it was a wonderful journey to um, bring this age-old fairy tale to life with a South African flavour and flair. A uh, shout-out to the cast and crew. It was so much fun to work with you, especially Mortimer Williams and Tian Rautenbach, who I got to set up so many gags with. It was a ball playing your mother. And then just lastly, to everybody who has been affected by COVID-19, I know for a lot of us, it's our lifelines. And I'm standing behind you in solidarity and praying that we all will see each other on stage again soon. Thank you. And the nominees for best... There and the nominees for... The best supporting or featured performance in a musical, male. Nominees for best featured or supporting actor in a musical are Anzio September as Carl in Auntie Merle the Musical, Craig Urbani as Dennis in Rock of Ages, Grant Towers as Amos in Chicago. Lukman Adams as Denver in Auntie Merle the Musical. Matthew Cunihan as France in Rock of Ages. Zach Hendricks as Prince and Wolf in Into the Woods. And the Naledi goes to Craig, Craig Urbani as Dennis. Rock of Ages. Thank you to the Naledi panel for this. Um, it's a real honor because I love this show so much. I want to thank VR Theatrical. I always tell Yaku and Vessel it's a pleasure and an honor to work for you. It was wonderful to have Timothy LaRue on this. Brilliant director. He brought so much to it. We're going to need you guys going forward. Our industry has never needed people like you more than we do now. So thank you for this and to the wonderful cast, to everybody backstage, on stage, side stage, wardrobe, crew, lighting, sound. This is a real honor. Thank you. You can like the life you're living. You can live the life you like. You can even marry but mess around with life <laughs> And that's good, isn't it grand? Isn't it great? Isn't it swell? Isn't it fun? Isn't it? But no 
nothing stays in 50 years or so it's gonna change you know Ladies and gentlemen, that was Samantha Peo and Carmen Pretorius singing nowadays from Chicago. We just hope that Cyril might do announcements ASAP and go. We're opening the theaters with immediate effect. We don't know. Who knows? It might happen right now, but we're almost there. Now we're moving right along to the Lifetime Achievement Award, a beautiful award. Over to you. Annabel Linda was born in Durban and educated at the University of Natal, where she obtained her teaching diploma in speech and drama. Her career spans six decades and covers every genre from Shakespeare to drama and from musical theatre to cabaret, receiving rave reviews. She's been nominated for and won several awards for excellence in theatre, television and radio, including two Dalroy Awards for Torch Song Trilogy and the musical Chicago, the Lady Awards for The Tale of the Allergist's Wife and The Table, and Vita Awards for Rose and Driving Miss Daisy opposite John Carney. She has collaborated with her husband of 26 years, musician and composer Sam Sclair, on four musicals and many cabarets. As one of South Africa's most prolific and versatile performers, Naledi is proud to honor Annabel Linda with the 2020 Lifetime Achievement Award. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have been in this industry for 60 years. Theatre has been my entire life. And it's life's blood has been the incredible people who have honoured me by befriending me. And who to this day, I can still call my friends. You know, when you're working in close proximity with actors and directors and you're sharing dressing rooms, you either make good friends or you say goodbye at the end of a production. In my case, directors and actors and impresarios tend to have stayed in my life, some of whom have become good friends and some of whom have deeply influenced my life. Joan Brickhill springs to mind. She met me when I was 13. She was my teacher in Durban. And she stayed my close and loving friend and mentor until the day she died. Another one is Manny Manon. I was very young when I first came to Johannesburg and I met him in 1961 when I did my first professional production in Johannesburg. Still a dear friend. And of course, my darling Janice Honeyman 
who has directed me in some of my most favourite productions. Torch Song Trilogy. I loved it. Driving Miss Daisy opposite the great John Carney. Then, of course, Twilight of the Golds. And Rose, my one-woman tour de force, where I was on stage for a full two hours on my own. Janice today is still my darling, treasured friend. And then suddenly I was being directed by two very young directors. It was Charmaine Weir-Smith, who was directing me in Tale of Elegist's Wife and Glorious, and the much lauded and applauded and brilliant Sylvain Strike. We did a workshop and a play called The Table, and there I was, as old pro me, being directed by these two talented young women. It was really quite wonderful. I loved it, and I loved them. And then, of course, is Marilyn Van Rennen, who has directed me several times and has become a very close and loving friend. And when I was in the table for Sylvain, I shared a dressing room with a most exquisite, wonderful, talented girl. And her name was Carbonina Quebec. We loved each other at first sight, and we are friends forever. And then there is the fabulous impresario, Daphne Kuhn runs the theatre on the square, where I've worked many, many, many times. And she, funnily enough, put Sam and I together in our first musical collaboration. And she called it When Annie Met Sam. And Daphne has become a very valued and close friend. When I was working at her theatre at another time, we did another show called Play It Again. And in that show was the fabulous... James in Normal, who was the artistic director of the market, only he was singing and dancing in that show, and he has also become a very dear friend. I can reel off many, many names. Anthony Fridgeon is another one. He played my husband three times, first in a movie and twice on stage. As a matter of fact, thinking about it, my marriages to Anthony were some of my more successful ones. And then, of course, there was Eddie Eckstein from The Bats. Eddie played my husband in Oh George, and he and his wife, Mari, have become very close family friends. And my wonderful friend, John Burks, a radio icon. And I was in a big musical production quite recently with Michael DePinner and Keith Smith. All people I love to pieces. All friends to this day. In the last 60 years, 30 years of it, I spent doing stand-up and singing in every venue that you can think of in the whole of South Africa. I spent hours and hours standing in the kitchens of five-star hotels in half-naked dresses, waiting to go on after the mains and before the desserts. And you know, when you're in this industry, it's very important very, very important to have good representation. And I'm so lucky to have the best agents in this business, contractors. So two of my biggest productions really are my family. My wonderful daughter, Kathy Jo. She is a writer, director, and facilitator. My son, Gary, who's a producer, a television producer in, in the UK, and Kathy has given me my two brilliant grandchildren, my little lawyer, my granddaughter Zoe, and David, who's doing a BMUS at WITS. And of course, my most important husband, Sam Sclair, my musician, composer, husband of 26 years. It's the longest I've lasted with anyone. So those are my big productions which were very, very important to me. So tonight, I'm very humbly accepting this Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you, Naledi, and your team, and Des and Dawn. And it is really important to be recognized by one's peers. Thank you so much. And in this very difficult time for all of us, particularly in our industry, I'm saying, please God, 
may our profession and our industry go on and on and on and flourish once again. And I'll say it in Zulu. Kele mkulu mkulu wami. Ubazize bonke abad. A huge congratulations there to Annabelle, Linda. Now, just before we continue, another reminder that our hashtag is Naledi Theatre Awards. If you don't know what it is, now you know. Hashtag Naledi Theatre Awards. You can also at us at Naledi Theatre Awards. Also, if you want to pledge somebody just to change someone's life, a quick reminder that we've pinned up the banking details on Facebook and on Twitter. And those of you who are tuned in on Zoom right now, you will get these details via the chat section. Please, just whatever you can, change someone's life and it will go a very long way. Now, our next presenter is a voice Dr. Laureate to the South African entertainment industry. He's an accomplished singer and performer himself and convener of the Naledi Musicals judging panel. Can you, can, can you imagine just being a performer and a doctor at the same time? You can go <coughs> and write your own doctor's note and just be off tomorrow. It's so amazing. Please welcome Lance Marin. Thank you. Thank you, Snare. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a pleasure and an honor to announce uh, two of tonight's most coveted awards, the award for best lead performance in a musical by a male and a female. And these uh, triple, pr pr triple threat artists, they sang, they danced, and they acted their hearts out to bring us the very best of 2019. So let's first find out which uh, male performers are eligible as leads in a musical. And the nominees for Best Lead Performance in a Musical, male, are Earl Gregory as the baker in Into the Woods. Josh Ansley as Drew in Rock of Ages. Mark Lotterick as Auntie Merle in Auntie Merle the Musical. Musanete Sakupuanya as Cat in the Hat in Susical. Soyiso Ndaba as Majorum Nisi in Angola Camp 13. And uh, let's find out who the winner for 2019 is. The uh, best performance lead male in a musical goes to Mark Lottering as Auntie Merle, Auntie Merle the musical. Oh my word, if you're watching this, then it means that I've won something. So thank you very much to the Naledi panel. This means a great deal to someone with dry and damaged hair. Thank you to my producer, Anwar McKay, also my partner and champion for 22 years. Thank you for everything. I need to thank my friend and director, Lara Foot. I give Lara the A4 page with the words and the jokes. And Lara turns it into something magical because she's got a degree and stuff. Thank you to a fantastic production team, to a wonderful crew, and to a cast from heaven. You know, the musicians ran this entire show without reading sheet music. Not because they can't read sheet music, but because of Manny Manum's sexy lighting. So thank you. To everyone involved, we had an absolute jaw and we hope to continue having a jaw. Sending all of you lots of love. Um, be safe, please, when you wear your mask, also cover your nose because when you talk to me and your mask is under your nose, I just can't focus. All I feel is underlying conditions coming up all over the place. So be safe and I'm sending all of you lots and lots of love. Thank you. Next up, we have the uh, eligible performances for best lead performance in a musical female. And the nominees for best lead performance in a musical female are Carmen Pretorius as Roxy Hart in Chicago. Jessica Soul as the baker's wife in Into the Woods. Kate Normington as the witch in Into the Woods. Petile Sibagnoni 
Asizwe Manzine in Angola Camp 13. Samantha Peo as Velma Kelly in Chicago. And uh, then the lady goes to Kate Normington as the witch in Into the Woods. Hello. You know, theatre awards always feel a little strange to me until I'm nominated and then I think, okay, this feels quite nice. I suppose I feel that it's easy to slip into self-congratulation and lose the spirit of what winning an award actually means. Some people might say, if we aren't going to congratulate ourselves, who will? I sort of feel, well, this is my work, but beyond that, whether we enjoy projects or not is irrelevant. We have to bring a level of commitment and professionalism in spite of any judgment we may have about the work. I haven't always been successful in that endeavor, but my shame and narcissism, which let's face it, we require truckloads of in this profession, sort of prevent certain catastrophe on any given day. I suppose the real work comes when we have to push on and commit each time with bravery in the face of self-doubt, confusion, questioning the meaning of life, poverty, criticism, unkindness, derision even, even when you aren't being applauded from the sidelines. And then you need to push further again and have fun because if you aren't having fun, no one else will and then to express gratitude for the opportunities afforded you. To Stephen Stead, who gives every man a fighting chance and mentors and thinks out of the box with great artistry and compassion. To Drew Backer, who works more diligently than anyone else I know, expertly and with great individualism. To Lee Matty for her patience and diligence, and to Peter Turin, who makes it all possible every day with good humour and hard work. And to the cast and crew of this brilliant production, who were all strong, resourceful, hardworking and kind in spite of and because of all of their prodigious talents, and who are all very dear to my heart. And everyone in this arena who play their instruments, sing their songs, dance their steps and learn their lines until they're finely tuned cogs in the most glorious machine of creativity. I am so grateful to be a part of that in some small way. I salute all artists and say onwards and upwards to telling the stories we still need to tell. Let's do it so that we can bring light to a world that desperately needs it right now. Let us not forget that the pen is mightier than the sword and theatre is the infrastructure it uses to disseminate its messages to a world that would be bereft without it. Thank you and remember, no one is alone. Some beautiful words there from Kate Normington. Congratulations. And now to keep it moving to our presenter that she spoke to before and earlier on, I just request one thing from this person. I want you to come on here and say, you shall not pass, because your voice is amazing. Welcome back, Renos Sponudas. <laughs> Shall not pass. Right. <laughs> then a lady award for best lead performance in a play. And the nominees are. And the nominees for best lead performance in a play, male, are Graham Hopkins as Dr. Martin Tassart in Equus. Siabonga Twala as Obembe in The Fisherman. Ben Reichrock as Alan Strang in Equus. Warren Masemula as Ben in The Fisherman. William Harding as Gregor Samsa in Metamorphosis. And then a lady goes to 
Sven Raycroc as Alan Strang in Equus. Wow, what an honor. Uh, thank you so much to Peter Turin for making this production happen um, and to your team both in Cape Town and in Johannesburg. A huge thanks to Fred Abramser and Marcel Mayer. Working alongside you guys has been amazing and incredible and really thank you to the cast. Without you, my family, this would not be possible. And a special thanks to Graham Hopkins for being my dark side. Lady Award for Best Lead Performance in a Play, Female. And the nominees are... And the nominees for Best Lead Performance in a Play, Female, are... Charmaine Ndinda as Zukiswa in Kova. Dorothy Ann Gould as Grazia in Family Secrets. Lebu Mashile as Sarki in Venus vs. Modernity. Lenita Crawford as Alice B. Toklas in Gertrude Stein and a Companion. Shirley Johnston as Gertrude Stein in Gertrude Stein and a Companion. And the Naledi goes to joint winners. Lenita Crawford as Alice B. Toklas and Shirley Johnston as Gertrude Stein in Gertrude Stein and a Companion. Thank you so much for this incredible honor. It's a huge surprise and I'm delighted. This is very exciting. Um, I'd like to thank Shirley, my co-star in the in the play um it wouldn't have been possible without her it was a team effort so we share this surely to our wonderful director chris who guided us on this incredible journey thank you chris uh to our producers nick and george from authentic thank you so much for seeing us on this journey and assisting us to get to joburg thank you to daphne and the staff at the theater on the square for um having our production there it was absolutely wonderful performing there thank you so much to the naledi judges to the naledi awards thank you for this honor it is absolutely incredible and then also just to the other amazing performers in this category it is an honor to have been nominated um, with all of you thank you thank you the ladies firstly i'd like to thank our producers nick leonidas and george heathcote for magnificently managing our runs in both johannesburg and in hilton last year i'd like to thank daphne coon from the Theatre on the Square in Santon for being the most fabulous host. Thank you for all your kindnesses, Daphne. Then the fabulous award-winning actress, my fellow nominee, Lenita Crawford. Thank you for everything. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. You initiated the entire show. I also want to thank you for being such a wonderful co-actor. Your Alice was fabulous and I enjoyed every second of playing Gertrude opposite you. And our director extraordinaire, Chris Weir, thank you for your expertise, your finesse, your superb direction. We are so privileged to have worked with this multi-talented, multi-award winning director. It was a privilege. Thank you, Chris. And finally, to the shining star, Dawn Lindbergh, thank you for the ladies. And thank you for your ongoing support of live theater. Without people like you, Life theatre would die in South Africa. So, viva my ladies. Viva. A huge congratulations to our recipients there and to move right along to present a... Hey an award entitled the Naledi World Impact Award to a giant of a man. Also being presented by a giant of a man also is my leader, Selo Mange Uh, sorry for a technical problem here. Uh, I'm presenting um, a, special, a technical award to Graham Brune. Graham Brune was born in Ferenaching in 1951. He freelanced at the Ferenaching Civic Theatre and became a resident stage manager in 1979. He worked 
for Carnival City for two years, uh, stage managing numerous shows. He then joined Gold Reef City Globe Theatre and assisted in planning and technical aspects of the Lyric Theatre. Graham, Daddy G, or Papa G, as many people refer to him, is a calm, well-respected, and much-loved stage manager. He has trained numerous technical assistants. His greatest love is ballet and was, was often instrumental in coming young performers before a show and, of course, running a tight ship when it came to the performance. The Bruins are well known in Ferenachang as a theater family. His son, Lee, has followed in his footsteps and has made sound engineering his career of choice. His daughter, Kim, went on to serve as technical manager of the Alabama, uh, Alabama Student Hassel's Cup in 2001. He has instilled in his family not only the love of theater and the arts, but also to strive to do something you love every day and to enjoy your job. Graham has always been one to help in any situation. He has always put the show first. Our much loved Graham has retired from theater in December 2019. Everybody stand by, please. Beginners on stage, tabs up, Alex and sound go. In my career as a stage manager, I have worked with amateurs, professionals, and those who think they are professional, local, international, and all the same goal in mind. The show must go on. I would like to express my thanks to each and every one who has contributed to my enjoyment on the technical side of theatre, to numerous dancers, singers, comedians, and performers in any genre. Thank you. Brenner Civic Theatre, Cornwall City and Gold Reef City, numerous international theatres, of course, the production teams, company managers, directors, producers, and costs. Thank you for entrusting your productions to me. To all backstage crew, thank you. Your support and respect through the years. To the Naledi Awards, Des and Dawn Lindbergh, thank you for your recognition. To all, thank you for affording me the opportunity to live the passion in the theatre world. To my family, my daughter Kim and my son Lee and my wife Wendy of 40 years. No, not 40 years old, 40 years married. Thank you. Stand by, please. Tab down, lights and sound go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow's call time is one o'clock. Athol Fugard was born on the 11th of June 1932 and educated at the University of Cape Town. He is a playwright, novelist, actor, director and producer and is widely regarded as South Africa's greatest playwright with his works produced all over the world and translated into countless languages. He is internationally known for his penetrating and searing analyses of South African society during the Some of his best known work includes Sizwe Banzi is Dead, The Blood Knot, Hello and Goodbye, Busman and Lena, The Island, Road to Mecca, Master Harold and the Boys, and The Killing Fields. His novel Tsotsi was made into a movie which won an Oscar for Best Foreign Picture. Athol is married to his second wife, Paula Faree Fugard, and they live in Stellenbosch with their dog Yakels. With this World Impact Award, I feel the seal has been put on my 60 years of active theatre in South Africa. It is indeed an honour to join the likes of other recipients in the past, and I just hope that the Naledi work 
on behalf of Live Theatre in South Africa is given all the support and encouragement it deserves. Thank you, Des. Thank you, Dawn. It is going into my diary as a red letter day. And a huge congratulations there to Athel Mann, touching my heart there. One of the best moments in my life, getting to work with that man. He's an incredible soul. And thank you for the work that you've done. You also unlocked dramatic acting in my life. Thank you. And now to move right along, we're on the last three awards. I wish there were more and we could just chill together, but it's okay. Now to present the following two awards is none other than Dawn Lindbergh. You can see her bit. She thought she was hiding. <laughs> Hello, yes, I'm also sad that it's nearly at the end. Really, really enjoyed this first online presentation. Uh, a slight glitch or two here and there, but really we're very proud that we've learned a, new, <laughs> a whole new technology. So, it is my honour to present the best new South African script. And the nominees are... And the nominees for Best New South African Script are Currently Gold, written by the Kwasha Theatre Company Ekasilam, written by Jefferson Chabalala Strange Land, written by Professor Anton Kruger Van Veik, the storyteller of Rivoli, written by Zane Mees Venus vs. Modernity, written by Lebu Mashile. Tova, written by Joseph Komani. And I also did open my envelope before, but I didn't peep. And the best, the winner, the lady goes to Kova. Yay! Thank you for this award. I would love to thank the South African State Theatre. I dedicate this award on their behalf. I also love to thank the ladies for recognizing the talent. Um, I dedicate this award also to the Ozone Fellas. Um, the cast and crew and everybody else who was part of this production. Also, I'd love to dedicate this award to Greg Hammond. And um, lastly, I'm just moving class today. Tomorrow, I'll try mountains. And now to present our second to last award. I'm really sad that it's coming to an end. Welcome back on stage, Leon Pretorius. <laughs> Thank you, Sne, an absolute honor uh, to be here tonight once again. And I'd not, I'm not sure if anybody thanked you. So I just want to say thank you for your work during this evening. I mean, it is phenomenal to have you as an MC and as a host. And may we have many more in future. Yes. Go COVID, come back live theater. So the next award or the penultimate award of the evening, the one that I'm presenting is the Naledi for Best Production of a Play. And the nominees are... And the nominees for Best Production of a Play are... Equus, produced by Peter Turin. Gertrude Stein and a Companion, produced by Daphne Kuhn and Authentic. Metamorphosis, produced by UJ Arts and Culture. Pockets of Knowledge, produced by the Soweto Theatre. The Fisherman, produced by the Market Theatre. Kova, produced by the State Theatre in association with Ozone Fellas. So let's get to it. Then a lady for best production of a play, Kova. Instead, we wanted to create a new cater of artists, and this is it. 
Thank you, Ozone Fellas, the creative team of Kova, Joseph Komani, Nebu, Tsonso. Thank you so much to the State Theatre team, uh, the producer Kia Muhezu Malefo, uh, the EYCT team, Tabiso uh, Kwabe, Nompumelo Los Kosana for harvesting such amazing talent for us. I also like to thank the State Theatre Council, management and the executive for being able to create such a conducive environment for young people to prosper. Thank you again, the Naledi Awards, for this recognition. We really appreciate it. Stay safe. Wow, 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 wow. Huge congratulations to the ensemble of Tova. I need Tova Lento. Four, you're cleaning up. Is it too late for me to ask for a recasting and put me inside so we can do the things? Maybe next year, but congratulations, Four. Mm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've now got into the final award of the night. Before we say goodbye, a quick reminder once again, please send us pictures of yourself or videos to see how you are celebrating on your side there. Hashtag Naledi Theatre Awards or at us at Naledi Theatre Awards. Awards. Also, please do pledge and donate and change someone's lives. Um, we have the banking details on Facebook pinned and also on Twitter. It is also pinned. And for those of you who are tuned in on Zoom, we will send it via the chat. And we might just do a poll for you once again just to pledge. Should you have any trouble, drop us an inbox or something and we'll get back to you. And now for the final award. Now, the question that I want to ask you is that how long can I ramble on before you get impatient with me because you want to know who the winners are of the last award? So before we get there, I just have a quick 10-minute story to tell you before... Okay, cool. We'll, we'll move right along. To announce this last award, please welcome back Selo Mark Kangub. <laughs> I nearly got angry with you, prolonging this moment that I've been waiting for. And uh, don't worry, when I finish, when I finish, people will remember your voice, but not this one. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the award for best production of a musical, the nominees are... And the nominees for Best Production of a Musical are Angola Camp 13, produced by the State Theatre in association with Mandi Makulu. Auntie Merle, the musical, produced by Anwar McKay and Mark Lottering. Chicago, produced by Showtime Management in association with Fran Weisler and David Ian. Forever Plaid, produced by VR Theatrical. Into the Woods, Produced by Peter Turin and Kickstart. Rock of Ages. Produced by Monte Cassino in association with VR Theatrical. And uh, then a lady goes to Angola. Camp 13. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Angola Camp. Hi, this is Hogoli. On behalf of the Angola Camp 13 team, I would like to thank the South African State Theatre for giving us Chono Yako showcase our talent on their stage. And also, Hakolo Rata Kulebuha, the Naledi Awards for recognizing us and giving us the Best Production Award. To the rest of the team, thank you very much for your dedication. It has worked out well. Thank you very much. Oh, well, that brings us to the end of the 16th Naledi Awards online. Maybe this will be the start of something new that might continue. And thank you to each and every single one of you that joined us tonight. Thank you to each and every single one of you that have pledged and are going to pledge to change someone's life in theater. We are coming back very soon. Please remember, hashtag Naledi Theater Awards. Also at us at Naledi Theater Awards. Please contact us. Send us photos. We want to celebrate with you. And now on that note, to end this off, let's end off with Call Me Al from Here's to You. My name is Neil Lada. I've been your host. And good night.
walks down the street says, Why am I soft in the middle of the Why am I soft in the middle of the West of my life is so hard. I need a photo opportunity. I want to shout a redemption. Don't end up a cartoon in a cartoon graveyard. Bone digger, bone digger. Dogs in the moonlight. Far away in my well get door. Mr. Pierabelli, Pierabelli. Get these mucks away from me. I don't, I don't find this stuff amusing no more. You'll be my buddy guy, I can be your long lost pal. I can call you pretty, pretty when you call me, you can call me out. Two, three, four. Stand marks down the street says, why am I short of attention? Got a short of a span of attention. Oh, my nature's so long. Where's my wife and family? What if I die? Who be my role model? Now that my role he ducked back down the alley with some roly-poly little bat face girl. All alone, alone, there were incidents and accidents, there were incidents and allegations. If you'll be my bunny guy, I can be the long-lost bat. Yeah, but if you'll be my bodyguard, I can be a long, long time. 